Hello, welcome back to Soul Search Sunday with Johnny Tiger on January 29, 2023. So a couple of days ago when I did the Fitness Friday, I mentioned today I'm going to take us through eight little tricks to hack yourself out of a bad mood. Feeling a little bit depressed, a little unhappy, it's very normal, okay? Before we go into all that, like, I want to make sure that we all recognize, acknowledge this, that no one, no one should be happy, 100% happy 100% of the time. Okay? That's, that's not normal. Uh, so it is okay to be cranky once in a while. It is okay to be sad once in a while. It is okay to be anxious once in a while. Uh, I myself, a lot of people think, oh, Johnny, you're so balanced. You you don't seem to have these emotions that we mortals have wrong. I can't even tell you how wrong you would be if you think that way, because I do. Uh, a lot of time I go through really bad mood, I go through uh, sad, like just getting out of bed and the things that make me really sad and and sometimes I uh, have days where I feel so anxious about what's going on and I can barely sleep and uh, don't even have the drive to uh, get up and do what I need to do. But you know what? I am okay. I'm okay with that. Like, I perfectly acknowledge that I'm as human as the next person. So if I feel bad, if I feel cranky, if I feel sad, if I feel depressed, if I feel lonely, if I feel anxious, I'm okay with that because I know that all it takes is a little bit of time and a little bit of work and I will be fine. Now, this is with a premise, this is a premise uh, uh, built on that what you feel is a normal ups and downs that we everyone have to go through. Okay, so when is it that it's not okay? <laughs> when when does feeling bad, feeling depressed, feeling angry and all that, when does that become not okay, become problematic? Is number one, you have a hard time controlling it and you feel that it's getting out of hand and you just can't uh, stop yourself ruining others parties and you you it's starting to impact your work it's starting to impact your friendship that's when you need to really put a ring on it and put put a cap on it and say okay you know what this is getting too much i i need to either just take a pill take a chill pill i need to go see a counselor see a therapist or i need to do something but that that's what, number one sign is when it starts to get out of hand and it's impacting your work, your relationship, your life, right? I mean, feeling bad is normal. Everybody expects that. But just because you're angry doesn't mean that you show up at work and you start to want to punch everybody's light out, okay? Like you, it's okay to feel that way, but it's totally different when you actually do it, right? Uh, it, it's okay to feel sad uh, but it's totally different when you have to break down in tears every time you have a conversation with your friends. Because now you are dumping all that negative energy onto your friends and it's going to come back and negatively impact your relationship. So if you find that it's getting out of control, then it's time to seek help. Number two is chronic depression, chronic negative feeling. What is chronic negative feeling? It's when there's no clear defined reason, but you just feel crummy for two or three weeks every day, okay? That usually is a sign that there is a chemical imbalance in your head. Some, something, that, something is wrong. You're not getting enough vitamins. You're not getting the chem, right chemical combination uh, you, you need. So this is another time when, when it's a prolonged unhappy feeling 
prolonged sadness, prolonged anger. You just wake up pissed off every day, even when there's no reason for it. Okay, then you, you it, it's time to、uh, do some tests and see what's going on. But assuming that you are in a bad mood, you you just suffer bad mood in a normal sense. You 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 just have a normal bad day, and you need a little bit of help to、uh, get yourself out of a bad mood. Hopefully, the eight tips I'm going to share with you today will help you out. So, tip number one, we already discussed this in length、uh, during Fitness Friday. So, if you have not watched the previous Fitness Friday, I recommend you go back and watch that one because tip number one is to breathe, to breathe. Okay, this is cliche, but Really, really works for me. I use this one as anger management a lot. A lot of time when people are starting to piss me off, what I do is I will stop responding. I will close my mouth and focus on breathing. I'll breathe, and in my head I'm going to count, and then I'm going to、uh, do this like ten times, and then I'll ask myself, "How do you feel? Are you ready to open your mouth and be civilized? Or are you still angry?" If you're still angry, okay, do another ten. Okay, I I I would do that. This is the first thing I resort.、Uh, the thing first thing that I resort to、uh, when I'm angry or sad or、uh, anxious and I find myself that you know argument is to breathe, and for breathing it's not just that simple. Okay, as I explained in Fitness Friday, there's two ways to breathe. One is the、uh, Uh, two in, one out through your mouth. That is a physiological way of breathing.、Uh, it will change the lung capacity、uh, and let you take in more oxygen and let you let out more carbon dioxide, which will trigger、uh, a sh- more positive response in your body.、Uh, and then the second way of breathing is through your nose, out from your mouth, and it's called the Uh, six, seven, eight method or the psychological method.、Uh, you breathe in through your nose, count six seconds. You hold your breath for seven seconds, and then you breathe out eight seconds. Take eight seconds to breathe out, and you focus. Try really hard, focus in counting the second. This is to divert your brain away from what's pissing you off. So number one, to breathe. This is very, very important, and one of the easiest thing you can do to affect your mood. Number two, another very cliche one. I'm sure you've all heard it, but some of you probably scoff about it.、Uh, yes, fitness. Fitness. I'm not talking about you have to sign up for bodybuilding or. Powerlifting or uh, uh, CrossFit or anything like that. I mean, if you do, all the better. But no, you, you don't have to. The thing is, when you are angry, you your body, your muscles, your nerve endings are、um, overstimulated、uh, at that given time, which means you need to do something to. Take your mind off of that, and sometimes you need to introduce different chemicals into your body to shake yourself out of that mood that you are in. A simple fifteen to twenty minute、uh, exercise、it、doesn't matter what you do. You can do squats. You can do running on the spot. You can do jumping jack. You can do push up. Anything, anything like just move. For 15 to 20 minutes will trigger a big shot of endorphin and、uh, adrenaline into your system. Endorphin, we all love endorphin. Endorphin is a chemical that makes you feel good. Okay, so when you physically trigger that,、uh, it will、uh, believe me, it, it makes a world of difference. You you suddenly realize that the problem, yes, the problem is still there, but it's not. The end of the world that you previously thought it was. Okay, giving yourself that shot of endorphin and adrenaline will allow you to see the problem from a completely different perspective. So 
when you find yourself just hunching up and laying in bed crying and you don't know what to do, you're sad. Okay, get out of bed. Just start moving. Start moving. Move, fifteen twenty minutes. It doesn't have to be、uh, intense exercise. It doesn't have to be a certain type of exercise. Just move. Just move for fifteen twenty minutes. Trigger that endorphin. Trigger that adrenaline, and things will seem a lot better. Number three. Combining number one and number two, breathing and exercising. Number three is take yourself outside.、Uh, this one seems so simple, and a lot of people、uh, probably think it's not that simple. When I just because I go outside, the problem doesn't go away. No, it doesn't. You're right. If you're worried about your credit card bill, it's still going to be there, right? But you know what? It's still going to be there, even if you sit in your bed crying all day. It's not going anywhere. Take yourself outside, breathe that fresh air, walk around the yard for fifteen, twenty minutes. Like I said, combine number one and number two. Do it outside. You will be amazed at how much better you will feel. Okay? Any time you feel you're angry, anxious, sad, depressed. Take it outside. Okay, I'm not talking about telling the person you want to go fight them outside. Okay, I'm talking about just go outside, just go enjoy the sunshine, the rain, listen to the rain, or feel the storm. Okay, get some fresh air. Just get out there, get outside. Really, really, like a lot of time, if you find yourself in an argument as a couple. Uh, as a, a work working partners and stuff like that, you'll be amazed at what a little bit of time outside can do to calm things down. Number four, focus on others. A lot of time we feel bad because we feel sorry for ourselves. We feel that someone's wronged us. We feel the world is so unfair、uh, toward us. We feel that we are not doing enough. It's always us, 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 me, me, me. Okay, that's why you feel bad. Very rarely do we feel really bad because of we are feeling for someone else. I mean, you no, know, if, if like someone passed away or. Uh, you are grieving, and that's kind of an entire, di- entirely different thing. That, that grief is a completely different kettle of fish. You have to let it run its own course, right?、Uh, I know that because I went through a period of grieving when、uh, my really good friend passed away、uh, in September last year, and I still, I'm still grieving. A lot of people don't know that, but I still am. Okay, but that, that that's normal. You'll have to just let it be. I'm talking about when you feel anxious, depressed, and all that stuff, all that negative emotion. A lot of times, because of you are focusing on yourself, okay, and and a lot of time it will rob you of the energy that you need to do things. You don't feel like getting up to cook breakfast. You don't feel like eating. You don't feel like going to work. You feel like the world can go on just fine without you. No one needs you. Okay, focus on others. At this this moment, it's so important to focus on. Okay, maybe your cat, your dog needs you. Maybe someone at work that you work with, they need you. Honestly, like I said, I get down time a lot. A lot of the time, I feel depression too. I feel sad. I feel anxious, but. Whenever I feel that drag on my soul,、uh, that I don't have the drive to get up, I think, "Well, Tiger needs me. Aslan's waiting for me to play with him, and I and I have students that need me to teach them. I have a girlfriend that need me to uh, uh, hold up my end of the conversation and my end of the relationship. I have people that need me. Being needed." It's a very, very powerful thing. Being needed is a very powerful tool that will help you move forward, help you go on. Okay, 
So whenever you feel really, really bad, really sad, really angry, whatever, think of the people, think of the plants, think of the things, think of the work that need you to do,、uh, and that will help you move past this immediate problem. Number five, another one that's going to sound like a cliche, and I'm sure a lot of us have heard it over and over again that we hate hearing this, but it actually does work.、Uh, a little bit different from other stuff, but、uh, it, it's something important to keep in mind: is to practice gratitude. Practice gratitude. Every day before I go to bed, I ask myself, "What are the three things I did today?" That were good. That were meaningful. What were the three good things that happened to me today? And immediately, that makes me feel better. It makes me feel this was a worthwhile day. Okay. So, yes, while you are angry, while you are in the moment, if someone tell you to remember to be appreciate to to be appreciative, remember to show appreciation. I'm sure you want to slam that person's head into the wall. Because that's not what you want to hear at that particular moment. But if you practice gratitude on a daily basis, really work at it every day. Just pick three things from your in your life that you really enjoy. Maybe it's a hot shower. Maybe it's that first cup of coffee in the morning. Maybe it's that first soda that you drink today. Maybe it's that first cigarette you smoke today. Maybe it's a Sound of birds in a tree that you hear in the morning, whatever. Okay, three simple things. Just find it in your life. I'm sure no matter how bad things are, we all can find three things in our life that make us feel good. So keep those in mind every day. Remind yourself to be appreciative. To thank the Lord. Thank. Nature, thank whatever deity you believe in, or thank your parent for putting you here. Thank yourself for being able to recognize these things. Okay, be thankful that you, of all people, is here, alive, breathing. You have the choice to feel good, feel bad. You are alive enough to feel bad, and you are alive enough. To enjoy these simple pleasures in your life, practice gratitude. In the long term, this will be a very powerful way to keep your mood regulated. Number six. Live in the moment. Now, this almost sounds counterintuitive, right? But Here's the thing. A lot of time we are not angry because of what's happening now. A lot of time we are angry because of something that may happen that have not happened. We are scared because of something that we think is going to happen, but not happened yet. Something we are sad because something that happened before, but it's not happening now. A lot of time we are feeling bad because of something that either in the past or it might happen in the future. We are not focusing on right now, okay? So again, go back to taking yourself outside to breathe that fresh air, to breathe, to work out, okay? Do those things and then focus on right now, okay? I know this is really, really, really hard to do, especially when there's so much trouble that we have to deal with every day. But if you can keep this in mind. Right? Never mind what this person might have done in the past. Never mind what this person may do in the future. Never mind what might happen tomorrow. Throw all that aside. Just focus on right now. How do I feel right now? Do I like the air I'm breathing? Do I like the water I'm drinking? Am I feeling good? Can I do something to make myself feel even better? Right now, okay. Focus on right now. Don't worry about the past. Don't worry about what might or may happen. None of that is as important as right now. 
and focusing on right now, and you'll find that a lot of things are not worth arguing about. Number seven, and this is a really funny one. I bet most of you have not heard this one. Get an ice pack and cool it down, literally. Yeah, this actually works. Okay, a lot of time when, especially when we are upset, our body temperature is rising, and that rising body temperature makes our blood flow faster, and our blood pressure is going through the rooftop, and your Heart is reacting to it. Your organs reacting to it. It's like a chain reaction. The harder your body gets, the more mad you get. The more mad you get, the harder your body gets until you have to smash someone's face in. Take an ice pack and put it against your forehead and focus on the here and now. Focus on your breathing. Let that ice pack cool your body down, and you will find that. Ten minutes later, you are no longer quite as angry as you think you should be. Let me repeat that because that is a very important phrase. You are no longer quite as angry as you think you should be. Okay, it's a magical feeling. Use the eyes to cool your body down, and your body will help regulate your mood. This really works. Try it next time when you are angry. Last but not least, this one is related to fitness. Focus on your muscles. Focus on your muscles. Okay, rather than focusing on being angry, rather than focusing on what's being said, what not being said, what might have been said, what might be said in the next minute. Focus on your muscles. Stop talking. Keep your mouth shut and start flexing. Okay, I'm not talking about flexing to scare the other person. I'm saying, clench your fist, tighten your forearm muscle, count to ten, then slowly relax and tighten again. Count to ten, slowly relax. Flex your glute,、uh, tighten your butt cheek. Look sexy. Okay, count to ten. Then relax. Tighten again. Count to ten. Relax. Flex your calf. Go up onto your tiptoe. Count to ten. Activate those muscles. Focus on those muscles, and pretty soon you'll find that you don't even remember what you were going to get sad or mad or anxious about. Things just don't seem as important anymore. Okay, so here those are the eight. Ways、uh, to hack you out of a bad mood. And now again, I will stress this: having bad mood is perfectly normal. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's not something that you want to avoid all the time. It's normal to go through that, but you need to keep it under wrap. You need to know when it's impacting your life, your social circle, your relationship, your work, or when it's unnatural because it's been going on for too long. They know when to seek help, but otherwise, when it's normal anger, normal grumpiness, normal sadness, try these eight tips: ah,、uh, working out, breathing, take it outside, focus on the here and now, focus on others, um, focus on your muscles, use an ice pack, and practice gratitude. In the comment section, you can let me know what other little tips you use. For anger management or depression management, and as usual, if you want to find me、uh, on Twitter or Instagram, you can use at Johnny Tiger 1981. Thank you for everybody for、uh, checking out today's episode. I'll be back again tomorrow, hopefully, for some music Monday. Okay, for now, have a good night and remember to be grateful and thankful.